I think that the, um, the general idea is a good one. I think that uh, giving more say over how money is spent to more people is generally a good idea. I fear that the amounts of money are fairly small, that the decisions may end up being fairly small, uh, and that people may, uh, may end up feeling that they still haven't got the, uh, the clout that they would like to have. I also feel that uh, the big, big challenge is to get the man in the street to want to be involved in his local neighbourhood. I think, personally, I'm slightly confused. Um, but on the other hand, what I have heard and what I've understood, in principle, I think is brilliant. In practice, I'm very sceptical. Um, I wonder why, you know, a lot of volunteers are going to be involved in this and I don't quite understand why the council are actually devolving out to volunteers what they won't give out to volunteers to support different organisations. I think if the community actually gets behind this, I think it could work. I think there's a lot of ironing out to do. My major concern is where they put equalities and where they put um, how they're going to ensure that the equality groups are represented on these um, different forums and partnerships. I think you're going to have to be very careful that it's not tokenistic. Uh, I also think that there is a, a renowned history of local people saying, oh, that doesn't affect me, I don't need to be involved, um, other people will do that, and that there being an elite few that will end up doing the actual work. <laughs> really important that they're accountable to their community, really important that some, perhaps some form of election to get them voted in by their community to actually do that work on their behalf if they don't want to come out personally and support it. I think neighbourhood partnerships need to develop a much more public face, be more um, open to the community as a whole. I just think it's a massive undertaking, understand it, it'll take a long time to roll out, whether it will work or not is to be seen. I thought today was actually very good, I thought there was a lot of energy in the room, most of it was stuff that I'd expected, but in a sense we've been asking, can you please write this down? So it's quite nice to see some of it written down. So in that sense I feel very buoyed up, so I leave. it's good, good step forward. Um, my reaction to what I've heard, um, not surprising, I must admit. Um, it feels like um, we've been here before. Um, it's, it wasn't, what I wanted to hear was how much money each neighbourhood has, or, or has been allocated, but that didn't come out of the meeting. And um, as we've been told, it won't be decided until next February. But um, it's interesting that we're having so many neighbourhoods and so many people are complaining about how large some of these neighbourhoods are. Um, interesting. Not complicated. And um, I do think more people need to be more involved on a lower level because I do think it's going it, to, it feels like um, it's coming, it's been dictated by the council. And. Um, and, and yeah, that's what it feels like. Well, I, actually, I thought it was a very good and useful meeting, although I didn't come away with any sort of idea of any definite sort of structure to, to what it's... Uh, to what will happen with the neighbourhood partnerships, but what I think people, certainly in my group, realised that there were actually lots of problems that needed to be ironed out and that um, there's still quite a lot of work to do in terms of developing not necessarily a structure that's the same all across the city, but a structure that is more workable than what we've got at the moment. 
Um, and a lot of it, I think, is was revolved around how we get individual residents to actually attend these meetings as opposed to people who are actually, in a way, the same old, same old that are already involved in neighbourhood groups and tend to get information and tend to liaise with each other. I th and I felt quite strongly that um, although it's good that we've got, for example, in Chinhampton, we've got SCAP, and we, you know, which is a very good structure, and we've got very good workers, it seems that the ordinary resident who doesn't belong to a particular group is pushed out, and we wanted to find some ways of kind of rectifying that. Um, but it's it's only the beginning, and I'm hoping that there's going to be more, really, because um, there's an awful long way to go. Well, I thought it was a very rewarding day, um, uh, quite provocative. It made me think about the funding of the neighbourhood partnerships and the structure of them. And I realised how they've developed differently across Bristol. But I do feel that the present council is very committed to listening to local communities and, as far as possible, putting their views into practice. I, I think it's a great idea providing enough funds to put aside to enable each ward to operate with their count, two councillors uh, to keep the bureaucracy down and to, to get the action going. I think it's been really interesting. Um, I'm not sure I learned an awful lot more from what was in the paper, but that's fine. I think I'm really pleased, I'm definitely really pleased about the kind of open attitude that we heard about, trying things out, evolving, learning, developing, growing, that kind of thing. Um, so I really like the approach. The detailed stuff that people were asking about, people always ask those kind of questions at this stage, don't they? Um, that hopefully will will be in place eventually, but um, I don't mean but. I mean, and there's going to be a lot of work to do. A lot of work, a lot of cultural change for people, a lot of business planning, but it's still quite exciting.